Hello, my friends, Adam Bush here. Hey, today we are in a teaching series called Wildly Different, where we are exploring stories from the Bible, where people had encounters with Jesus and came out wildly different on the other side. With that, I have a story for you today from our own community. This is Kristen Suarez. Now to hear Kristen's story, we gotta start at the beginning, where she was introduced to drugs and alcohol by her friends at a pretty young age. I was kind of fending for myself after school. I was smoking weed and drinking alcohol and doing Xanax and cocaine and then meth. Once I did meth, I didn't need anything else because that was my favorite. It wasn't long before I realized that I could tell my friends about meth and they would want some and that was it for me. Then I became a drug dealer. I was 17 years old the first time I got raided. I was vacuuming in front of the front door and it was all like in slow motion when they kicked the door in and they took us all to jail. I got pretty much a slap on the wrist, probation, and not long after that I had my son and I was still doing the same thing. Throughout the end of Kristen's teenage years and into her 20s, her home was raided three more times. She was in and out of jail for drug-related charges. She eventually ended up in a program called Women in Recovery, which is a nonprofit here in Oklahoma that helps women with drug-related charges stay out of prison and become active, contributing members of their community. I got all the way through the program to where I was able to have a job and I got an apartment and I was paying rent and I had roommates, but I still thought, you know, it was fun to be cool and I wanted to go out to the club and go dancing. So did my roommates, so we did and we got busted and then I'm back in county jail waiting to go to prison. I finally made it to Eddie Warriors and I'm in this prison and I'm looking at my paper that says I'm gonna be here for five years. And I couldn't believe that I was gonna be away from my son for all that time and it's all my fault. I have nobody to blame but myself. And it's real, it's happening. I'm really here and nobody saved me, nothing got me out, I'm really here and I've gotta do this time. And my kid's gonna grow up without me. Every single night I went to church and I just bawled my eyes out. I said, God, please. I said, I know this is all my fault. I surrender everything to you right now. And my life was resurrected. In prison, Kristen gave her life to Christ. Then she started working hard through classes and programs to reduce her sentence and eventually be released. After that, she got custody back of her kid, she started working on her college degree, and she had a job waiting for her at a place called Muddy Paws. Muddy Paws is a daycare, grooming, and boarding facility, and we're also a nonprofit organization that teaches women with a criminal past how to groom dogs. I get to be there with them, I get to encourage them. How did I get so lucky that my career and love and passion for grooming dogs got to be tied in with women with criminal pasts? To me, it doesn't get any better than that. He didn't just save me from a life of addiction, he saved me for a life of ministry. I know I wanna be involved with people who are like me and I want them to see what God did in my life so that they can have hope because God can do it in their life too. You've had an encounter with Jesus. Yeah and I feel him every single day. <laughs> it's awesome.